this is a huge event and instead uh, Mr. Putin will be presiding over laying a wreath at the Eternal Flame uh, at the walls of the Kremlin and speaking to the nation via television. Uh, the streets of Moscow are empty. Uh, there's going to be no parade of uh, Russian military might with 15,000 troops uh, marching across Red Square. Uh, no foreign dignitary, dignitaries. Uh, president uh, Macron uh, was due to be there, the French president. Um, so it really is a it's, it's huge disappointment. And this adds up to a very bad year for Vladimir Putin. Last month, there was due to be a referendum on the constitution, which would have enabled him to remain in power until 2036, well into his dotage, he's in his late 60s now. Um, instead, he appears to have been somewhat sidelined by the coronavirus. Uh, his hold up in his country estate outside of Moscow um, overseeing video conferences with ministers, uh, during which often he looks, frankly, quite bored, rolled in a pen across his desk. Meanwhile, other characters who are quite charismatic are taking leading roles. The mayor of Moscow, Sergei Sobinyanin, has been very active in ensuring that the lockdown is observed. That was due to have been lifted on Monday. That's now been extended until the end of May because of the raging numbers of coronavirus. Uh, there are something like uh, approaching 188,000 cases and over 1,700 deaths, although that does appear to be an underestimate. It's less than 1% of the total number so far.